Welcome back again to the channel, I do Agri. This is part three of the cattle trailer restoration and we're going to install this 12 end plug. So uh, first thing to do, we're gonna strip off uh, the end of all of these wires. Get my wire strippers here. Um, and we don't need to take too much off about 10 mil. So that's our seven wires stripped. Um, take apart the plug. Comes in two halves. Get my screwdriver. Now, once you have all the wires prepared, um, you just slip on your bit of black uh, insulation for the bottom of the plug, and then you can get your cluster of pins. And going off of this uh, diagram, we will match each wire to the correct pin. So we'll start off with the middle one, uh, which is supposed to be black. So we'll place the black wire in there and tighten it up with the grub screw. Now then I'll go to the top one next, which is yellow for the left hand indicator. Next then is the blue wire, which we actually don't need on this um, setup, but we will install it anyway, just to future proof it. So the next one is blue. Put it in there, tighten it up, then white. Then green. After that, you put in the brown. And finally, the red. So that is all seven wires matched up to the correct pin. Um, just if I didn't mention before, the way you can tell which is the top and bottom pin on this is um, there's just a little chunk of plastic that is meant to fit um, in the gap here, you know, the gap on the bottom of the, the plug itself. So that's just, how you, that's just how you differentiate between the top and bottom pins when you're wiring that in. Um, so I'll place this in the shell down like that and I can Get my bit of a bracket. Put in this side. So then you just get your your um, then you get your cluster of pins. Place it into uh, this side of the clamshell, where you see there's 
two extra holes in there for attaching this um, bracket. Now, so the wires are nicely clamped in there. Uh, there's no way of pulling them out of the pins or anything. Just makes a nice job of it. You can get your other side of the clamshell cover and she should fit like that. Get your bit of rubber on the bottom and just two more screws into the plug and that's the job done. Now, 12 in plug, all wired in, uh, great, great job that is with uh, the good the good thick wire too. Um, so now all I have to do is see if my work from yesterday is any good. I'm going to bring out the tractor, plug it in and see which lights are working and which aren't working and if they need any more work. Now we have it all plugged in so we can test out the trailer now. I'll just test one part at a time. The left hand indicator is working. Let's go. Let's check the right hand side. It's working there. And it is flashing. Good, good. Now, let's try the tail lights. That one is working, and that one is working. I need someone else to test the brake lights for me. I can't do it by myself, but I'm fairly sure. Um, that they'd be working since the rest of them are working anyway. Now that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. Everything seems to be working well. Um, so we have some brand new wiring, a brand new plug on the trailer. 
Next job for the trailer is just going to be cleaning up some of this rust, uh, maybe a bit of patchwork, bit of welding if needed anywhere, and then on to the painting. So make sure to stay up to date with the trailer restoration. Let me know down in the comments below uh, if you like these kind of videos, if you want to see more of them, and what kind of things you want to see being restored. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you very much for joining and make sure to visit uh, iDoAgri.ie for your Agri merch. <laughs>